Welcome back to Let's Replay Neverwinter Nights 2, Mask of the Betrayer. This is Big Los. We are in the Emil Vale, We're right by this red tree, and we are going to try to petition a god to help remove the blight, or maybe do the opposite, in the Ashenwood. So the first thing that we have to do is create an anointing solution. So we're going to do it with this legendary blood, but we have to mix two solid ingredients into it. Bark centers would be one of them. And the other one would be the blighted leaves, and I think I put those in the bag of holding. There they are. Okay, so now we have an anointing solution. And what does the journal have to say? You have mixed together an anointing solution that is, as normal therm described, one part pure, two parts contaminated. All that remains is to use it on yourself and pray at the red tree of Emil Vale. Alright, so we are going to do that. Okay, we've anointed ourselves. Now let's go pray at the red tree. You stand before the red tree that Gnarl Thorn spoke of. It emanates an unmistakable energy. So we're going to place our hand on the tree. What do you pray? Well, we're not going to pray to Shantia. No, no, no. We're going to pray to Malar. Or Malar. I think that's how it's pronounced. Malar, beast lord, savage predator of all that walks. Behold that my hands run with the blood of your greatest beast. Help me to flush my prey from wherever it hides. Send me a means to destroy all vegetation that stands in my way. For a moment, you are alone with the red tree, and you see nothing else. Feel a light trickle on your forehead, dew dripping from above. You reach up to brush it off, only to find that your hand is streaked with blood, darker than any you have ever seen. You look up to see the entire tree oozing the strange dark blood. It seeps and spurts from cracks in the bark, cascades and ribbons from the tips of all the leaves. The trickle on your forehead becomes a torrent, and you're bathed in blood that smells like a fresh kill. The odor is death in its purest, most savage form. It overwhelms and chokes, and you cannot bear to take another breath. You open your eyes and find everything as it should be. The tree is as it was. Everything is as it was, except... You now hold in your hand a dark, twisting flask filled with a liquid the color of the blood in your vision. Your prayer has been answered. We've got 1500 XP. We've acquired the toxic plant bane of the Beast Lord, and we went one more point towards evil. Malar has favored you with the gift of this steaming, volatile liquid that emanates the unmistakable odor of sulfur. Oof, I hate that smell. Thick bubbles rise to the surface regularly and hiss as they pop. It would appear that this substance would burn the life out of any plant. You also wouldn't expect to have a positive effect on just about any other life form. Sounds like an environmentally hazardous substance liquid NOS. Probably a reportable quantity. Alright, let's grab these remains. The, uh, the volatile power essence. And more volatile power essences. We'll hand these off to Sophia. And if my eyes weren't deceiving me, I think there is... Another wyvern over here. Actually, it looks like a trio of them, huh? Well, that shouldn't be too hard to take care of. Especially from a distance. Right? What is getting in front of the camera? I don't know. Well, how should we deal with these three? I'm thinking maybe we can use our mask that we have created, the Eyes of the Coven. It comes with these three spells. Let's cast Weird. Let's see if it has any noticeable effect on him. Well, looks like 
they all managed to save, except for one of them. Well, the DC is rather low at 22. If I really wanted to take them all out, I would use one of my spells. DC is much, much higher. Alright, one of many. Get things started with a Hellrime Blast. My magic will erase this nuisance. And everybody else can start shooting. Hey Shall we indulge ourselves? Yeah, why not? Well, looks like we're gonna have to switch back to melee weapons. Half my soil tiller. Dreamless wretch. What should we have you use? Should we use the axe to pulling? Does fire damage? Should we use the Reaper's Despair? It's plus eight. And does the fear. That's pr probably the best one to do. Yeah. Because when these things are affected with fear, they can't attack you. I will do what I can. Why don't you attack this one and give it the fear too? Hey yeah, it has the fear. Of course. That's pretty humorous. Watching this thing just trying to run around. You have need of me. All right, let's grab these volatile power essences that have been dropped. I get 91 XP for killing these things. Very good. Okay. Give them to you. I still haven't figured out what to put the shape of fire on. I haven't found a suitable weapon yet. Maybe I will in the future. Who knows? All right. Well, we are by this big rock. I believe it's called the Moss Stone. So let's go. Greetings. Try to interact with it. This stone is ancient, carved with weathered runes from centuries past. Flowing wild like waters, the markings seem suggestive of memories or dreams. Ah, look at this. Perhaps a marker, perhaps a fragment of dream left behind. This stone is a signpost. Beneath its shadow, we may find that our dreams are sharpened like a blade, and ring more true than steel. What do you mean? In such places as these, dreams are strong. As long as one rides the current and does not fight it, we may find ourselves at our intended destination. And what is our intended destination? Why, truth, of course. A greater understanding of oneself. Swimming in one's own dreams often reveals many secrets. For me, of course, I will do what I can to help you by observing your secrets and storing them for my own amusement. I see. What makes you think this place is tied to dreaming? Of course, they m this may be old wives' tales, but I think old wives were young, truthful women once. So perhaps this would be a place to camp for a time and see what lies behind our eyes, no? So how do we touch this thing? Does that mean that we have to rest here? Oh, yes, it sure does. You press the rest button and off we go. Snow glitters under a brilliant sun, trackless and white. Impossibly so. The trees seem to hold their breath. And you hear nothing. It is as if you have intruded upon a forest in an impossibly distant past. Before any living creature walked the world. And the gods themselves are strangers to snow and sky and land. What happened to all my buffs? They're all gone. And we do a wisdom check. You realize that you have drifted deep into a forgotten place. A recess of your mind that has lain untouched for too long. But how long? And what has been hidden in its depths? We are in Ashenwood, a version of the woods that once were. Something is wrong here. Be on your guard. 
This looks to be an interesting dream. Let us explore for a bit. But be careful. I can't say I was expecting your presence, Hagspawn. Yes, pleasant surprise, isn't it? You should be honored. But restrain yourself. There is no need to bow. Dream walking is a gift of blood and skill. It is but one of my many abilities, Janik. Do not let my presence trouble you. Let us see what this dream holds instead. Alright. Well, at least I do have my buffs back. I could recast them if I so chose to. But. All who can hear, follow. I think I'll just have Gan put on regular stone skin. At Altor Medias. I will lead now. Follow. That should be enough. Ah, what do we have here? Evoy, Kazik, Zarak, the Red Woman, Juraj. Is that it? Well, I think we should bring forth the minion. Ah, we have a skeleton warrior with us. S Someone walks in Our Lady's garden. Stay back. We found her. She is ours. She is all we have, and you cannot take her away. Careful, these four mean us harm. How did you find your way to this place? Tell us. I closed my eyes and went to sleep. How else does one enter a dream? Is it true? Does he dream us? Or do we dream him? And each other? Be quiet. He is another bearer of the gift, nothing more. They arise one after another, blazing bright and guttering out. They hunger, gorge, and are gone, but we remain. We have her for an anchor. You seem familiar. Who are you? You're echoes of those who once bore the hunger, the gift. You were spirit eaters, like me. Not like you. We worship the gift and pass it amongst ourselves, each reveling in hunger for his allotted time and then slain by his successor. Sweet Jiraj was first, gorging on the spirits of the wood, turning verdant green to withered black until her time had passed, and Kazik crushed her skull, and the gift passed to him. Poor Kazik hung hungered only briefly. He tried to devour a great tree spirit, but it fell on him and cracked his spine. And what about you? Did I know the hunger? Oh yes. I sought to drink more deeply than any. I cast about for a soul that was vast enough to truly quench my hunger. My eyes all, my eyes turned always back to the forest. So you hired a guide, a hunter, who knew the great wood. And he led you to the woodman's grove. If you have walked under the eaves of the great forest, you have touched the woodman's essence. Every creature that dies in his domain, every corpse that molders under rock or silent eve, is joined to him. To drink of such a spirit, to gorge on the soul of the living forest, is to embrace the gift as no one else. And for a time, even our hunger will be sated. Then devouring the woodman would offer me a reprieve. For a time, yes. Some might use such a reprieve to strengthen their wills. Many would just seek vainly for a cure. Many would counsel you thus. The witches of this land, for instance, they would send you on fool's errands, seeking after a cure that they do not believe you will find. Oh, have I struck a true note? The Red Woman, I have seen her before, in a waking dream. No, whatever you saw was merely a reflection. There were many like her once, before the hunger took them all. Any facets of a single dream, a single memory now lost. Only she remains because she was always the strongest. Her garden, our garden, grew firm and strong around her. 
Please don't take her away. Don't cast us adrift. We cannot bear it again. I was brought to this place for a reason. I must speak with that woman. Brought? Or blundered? It matters little. little. The hunger follows like a jackal in your wake, and we cannot risk losing her. Only by slaying you can we keep our lady safe. <laughs> Prepare to become one with eternity. Oh, that sounds familiar. It sounds like one of my main characters from another campaign. All right, let's try to use our petrification. Whose troll it were Puros. It seems we have unpleasant company. Absolutely. All right, maybe we should. I don't know. Maybe summon an elemental swarm. I mean, we could do vampire feast, but then it'd be all—it would all be over before we'd have a chance to devour any of these guys. <laughs> so what happened? Oh, you absorbed my spell? Well, how dare you? Well, it's a good thing I have nine more castings of it. Well, let's use it on someone else then. And we're gonna be in defensive casting. Oh, you already are in defensive castings. My bad. Alright. Uh Wow. You have a rather high fortitude, don't you? Well, I will petrify one of you guys. It will happen. Oh, you tried to big me, huh? Who's trolling I've lost my spell. Oh my goodness, really? Maybe I should have put more buffs on. Okay. Anybody near death? Okay, I failed a fortitude save of some sort. Oh, well, one of them died. That's just great. So you are paralyzed, and I am stunned. Well, I want to devour someone's soul. My spirit energy is only 70. Okay, let's devour him. You, I need you to not do so much damage. We must have got something. Ah, we got a brilliant spirit essence. Yes, we gotta tell these guys not to attack. To the abyss with you. Stay here until I say otherwise. As easy as dreaming. Okay, I think we should dismiss this thing. Yeah, I know it's a waste of a spell, but. I don't want to take the chance of these guys dying when I can get brilliant spirit essences out of them. Stay here until I say otherwise. And we're going to unsummon this one. So this one's near death. I think we should paralyze him. Or not paralyze, petrify. That's right. I guess she's invisible. Alright, this guy is petrified. Press the attack, quickly! Let's 
try to petrify th this woman over here. Oh, you're not going to be doing anything. On your guard. You? Foes approach. Ten spell levels remaining. Oh. We are stunned. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be doing very much with this regeneration. How long are we going to be stunned for? Okay, so she has 10 spell levels remaining. So, why don't we cast like a big bees on her? That should absorb nine of it. Zero spell levels remaining. Okay, now we can petrify you. Yeah, I know you're trying to self-defense, but don't don't do it. On your guard, foes approach. Stay here until I say otherwise. Who was Christo Karamashon? Oh, you you stunned me again? Oh my God, you killed her one of many. You do too much damage. Honestly. All right, so I'm gonna wait until this counter to go away, so I can devour this guy. So I'll meet you back here. All right, we are going to devour Evoy's soul. Let's do that right now. Got a brilliant spirit essence out of it. Oops. I guess we can't do this now. I waited for you. I feared you would not find me before. Before the hunger took me. She speaks as if an echo, but across a great distance, and a familiar one. But this is not your bald disciple, Dark One, but rather a reflection seen through another's eyes. You look like Sophia, but who are you? I'm only a memory, a memory of love lost but not forgotten. This mass fragment contains my essence, all that I am. I have saved it for you, kept it hidden in this remote and forgotten place. A third mass fragment to join the other two, curious. It is your choice to take it or not, but you best decide quickly. We'll not see one another again, not until you must draw on the memory of what once was. Know that I will be safe while the mask is in your hands. Until I need you, when will that be? The red woman speaks, but you cannot hear her words. The dream is already fading, the brilliant sun growing dim, the red woman in her garden dissolving into an indistinct haze. Your eyelids flutter open and you awake, and we got a thousand XP and the red woman mask fragment. And before we know it, we are back out of the dream. And our uses of Devour are back to full. We have our spells back. And our spirit energy is back to 100. We are in great shape. And look, there's an exit to the world map up here. Let's see if Gan... Yeah, to the world map. So we don't have to zigzag all the way back up here. Let's see if Gan has anything to say about what just happened. And how may I honor you? Uh, never mind. Okay. Now there's a third thing to do here. And that is to take care of this boar. Now last time the boar wanted us to deceive the witches. So that we had got rid of her. Now let's see what happens if we just devour her soul. 
This says the mine shaft. Certainly does look like a mine shaft with all these mine parts spout. Is there anything hidden here? Nope. Alright. Into the shaft we go. In fact, we should probably put on some buffs. There are many of my kind, my mother's kind. They are as numerous in hue and power as the elements, and their disposition as varied as the emotions and rages of a human mind. So we're facing a hag. The one within. Her spirit lies upon the cold edge of ice, I suspect. The heart of winter beats within her chest, a dangerous thing indeed. This creature, this boor, they thrive in cold. And they use it as a weapon. Anything that shields us against a winter's chill will help us in the battle to come if we choose to fight. Her kind are also vulnerable to weapons of the sky. Thunder and lightning are twin blades they fear. Acid bubbling from the earth also scalds them greater than most. What do you mean if we choose to fight? Isn't she hostile? As you may have noticed from my own tendencies, we hags, even half-hags, are a talkative people. It is a form of self-flattery to go on about oneself, no matter what the subject. And from what I know of women of my kind, they tend to prattle on more than most. I suggest you watch your tongue, Gan. You're hardly the silent type. I confess, Gan, I would be surprised if anyone was capable of talking more than you. I am emotionally wounded. Deeply, I think. What a curious sensation. I would strongly suggest keeping such comments to yourself should we cross the boor, though. She may not respond as diplomatically as I. Very well. Let's put on some shades. Fashka falls falls to yes. You put on premonition. Stone skin on one of many. At Altor Medias. Yes. Oh, but you didn't get your spells back. That sucks. You have need of me? Eh, whatever. Oh, we have an ore glash. And a trap. Don't do it, it's a trap. Equip yourself with a bow. We are going to devour this thing's essence. Ha! To the abyss with you. Shall we Where's indulge ourselves? I'm gonna need you up here. Of course. Okay, you're already attacking, that's good. For the crusade. Move back. There you go. You probably don't want to do any more damage to it. At least no more of your magical damage. Ah, oh, this thing has regeneration. Okay, it's near death now. To the abyss with you. We're gonna turn off party AI mode. We're going to devour our spirit. It seems we have unpleasant company. Yeah, we're gonna tell her to move away. For the crusade. Brilliant spirit essence. Yes, I like it. Okay, party AI mode back on. We need to talk to one of many, but first. Yes. We'll have you grab this. Look at all these essences. That's about six of them. You have need of me? Whoops. I want you to change to the child. 
Again, yeah. it's a dark, dark place. <sighs> Alright. I need you to recover a trap for me. If you can. And we got 110 XP for that. Short sword. Oh, that's right. This I completely forgot about these things. We, we get some like weird items that have like these question marks on them. Yes. And it'll say like short sword. We can't equip it though. I think you can, right? Yes. No. Yes. You can, right? See, it doesn't show anything, but... I don't even think this is a, a real short sword, though. It's so weird. That's right, in the last playthrough we got some of these things. Very interesting. What does this thing do again? Ah, oh, it has vampiric regeneration. Yes, I think we're better off with the Reaper Spare. I wonder if we can put the Shape of Fire on this thing. Imagine that. It does fear, poison, it's plus eight, and it would have like 66 points of fire damage. Let's try it. Yeah. All right, we're gonna de-equip this thing. Yes. Give it to Janik. We're gonna open up the no nope, wrong one. We need to open up that. Put that in there with the shape of fire. And here we go. Aha! Reaper's despair. What should we call it? Reapers, despair, mm, of fire. Oops, I don't know why it always does that. It always puts it on this, the pen ultimate letter. Reapers, despair, of fire, like shape of fire. Yeah. Loot. Put this over with you. Yes. Put that over there with your shield. There we go. Yes, now it's flaming. 66 points of fire damage. But it gives you vulnerability to cold. You have need of me? Very good. All right, I want to devour another Orglash, so I'm going to wait until these reset themselves. And I'll meet you back here. Okay. The timer has reset itself. We are ready to devour yet another Orglash, if we can find one. Ah. Looks like we have a locked wall. Multiple ones. We'll unlock all of them before... Why aren't you doing it? Oh, you're stuck. Well, get unstuck. We're gonna unlock all of these before we go and talk to the hag over here. And then we're gonna loot this whatever's inside. This mine shaft has a strange chill about it. You think? You have need of me. Okay, there's a chest there. You're stuck again. There's a chest that's locked. And another chest. Alright, let's send one of many in here to unlock these things and to do any disabling if there's any traps on them. Oh, we got 105 XP for unlocking that. Plus one longsword, that's it? What 
about over here? 105. And we get a plus three Warhammer. This one wouldn't be trapped, would it? No, okay, we're gonna turn this off. Oh, it was trapped! Ugh. Gnarl Thorn Sacrifice. AC bonus plus four, immunity to level ability drain. You can use heal once per day. Come this way. What are you wearing? Braces of armor. So your AC bonus would drop by four, but you gain these two. To me, my wearing? allies, I shall lead. Constitution plus eight, regen plus two. Yes. Hmm. Well, I don't really know who would benefit the most from this. I will lead now. Follow. Yeah, probably you. Come this way. AC bonus plus four. Okay. You have need of me? I'm not expecting your AC to go up anymore. I cannot travel quickly carrying all this. Looks like the AC bonus did not go up because I bet you... Yeah, this one's plus five. And it doesn't stack. Hmm. That means we're carrying way too much stuff here. I don't know which should we get rid of. Probably some of these healers kits. There's 10 pounds right there. Plus 3, plus 1, plus 10. There's plus 6. Let's put those away. Okay, that's better. And we'll put those in the bag too. But now we can cast heal on ourselves once per day. And we have a to level and ability drain, which we lost when we took off the greater amulet of health. There we go. But we've lost some strength, but maybe we'll get some in the future. And what's over here? Ah, yes. The enemy Orglash. Oh, there's a trap in here. Nice, Kaylin. I like that. Look at all that damage. This Yeah, we'll yeah. power this one. No time at all. Alright, let's bring you back. Yeah. On your guard. Foes approach. Let's turn off party AI mode. You're attacking? Okay. You're not doing anything. All right, recover that trap, will you? All right, didn't you have like the blades of the elements or something? Hitting this thing at all. Oh wait a minute, we don't wanna we don't wanna kill this thing. It's it's trying to slay it. Alright, let's put on the short bow and we'll put on the flame arrows. That ought to help. We have go back to unpleasant that. company. Brilliant spirit essence. And we're gonna get 50 T 
to XP. Ooh, a gold pile. 3,365 gold pieces. Yes. A bunch of essences. There you go, Sophia. You can have them. Let's put this stuff up here. Fill in the gaps. I don't think we need this anymore. Oh, wait. We do. We're going to need it when we go back to the Ashenwood. And we have a glass counter. I guess you set off the trap, didn't you? Because you didn't recover it. Ah, it's trapped. Let's try to recover this trap. Ouch. That was extremely painful. Alright, let's turn on party AI mode. Got 114 XP out of that. You have need of me? Alright, what's in here? Some type of objects. Pumara's Emerald. Whoever holds this gets plus three to intelligence. You get improved mage armor once per day, lesser spell mass once per day, and weapon of impact once per day. So, who would benefit from this thing? Let's give it to you. Hmm? I will lead now. Follow. All right. Now we can talk to the brewer. I want to turn the brewer to stone, and then I want to devour these ore lashes. But unfortunately, I think I'll only be able to devour one of them, and then I'll have to defeat the other two. What? I thought this said two minutes. Now it's back up to three. Or was it three the whole time? I don't know. But I'll come back when it's down to zero. Alright, so it's not down to zero yet, but it will be after we're done talking to her. So let's just do that right now. Visitors? But you didn't send a messenger to let me know. This place is a sty. Human remains everywhere. If only I had a bit of notice. Look at this thing I'm wearing. Hideous! It's impolite, you know. Dropping in on an old woman unannounced. How could I possibly be expected to look halfway decent? But you're a hack. And we lose some influence again. Your skill with words, in tandem with your powers of perception, have not lost their power to underwhelm me. Ugh, well aren't you the charmer? But you're a hag, he says. As if there was something I could do about it. It's a wonder you're not traveling the countryside with a thousand adoring fans in tow instead of standing there badgering an old crone like me for the gods know what reason. I met a fire spirit who'd mentioned a battle with someone like you. So that's it, is it? Of course it is. You come here because you want something from me. Couldn't possibly come calling because you just wanted to visit with me. Oh no, I don't care why you're here or how lonely you are. As long as it's been since you've eaten somebody, or how long it, it's been since you've eaten somebody, I just want to use you. Come to think of it, why are you here? Well, it isn't for this ghastly landscape, I'll say that much. I don't understand how anyone could stand such a detestable climate for more than a few seconds without fleeing for a nice snowing peak or glacier somewhere. But here I sit, wasting away, absolutely blistering in the sweltering heat. Does anyone care? Does anyone ever ask me how I'm doing? Of course not. Why would they? I'm a hag. Well, how are you doing? I'm miserable. I can't leave. Not with those two old bats at the red tree watching day and night. They may be dead, but they've still got connections. They find me here. Every Hathorn between here and they will be on my doorstep. Probably unannounced, too, like someone else I know. Why are the witches after you? Every year, the Hathorns drive me out of their lands. Even celebrated the monsters. This time, I got it in my head to stick around a little longer. 
show them what they get for picking on an innocent old woman. What made you pick this spot? The temperature may be unbearable, but it's really all I can do. The mountains here, curse them, are volcanic. No snow can ever take hold here in the Vale. For a little old lady who carries winter on her back wherever she goes, it's the one place like that can be hidden. Your hiding place doesn't seem to be working out too well. Kick an elderly woman while she's down, why don't you? Mother would be so ashamed to see you carrying on this way. In my day, we used to eat our young for such insolence. I warned you before she would be I warned you before that she would be icy. So please, unless you wish to bring flame into this conversation, try just a little decorum. Bah, you're right though. It's more heat than I could bear. And it's still too little to cover my tracks. Frozen in the ground before I could duck into this place. It's the last mistake you'll ever make, and then we attack. So typical of your generation. Always rattling your swords with a worm's sense of entitlement. I will not tolerate such disrespect. I'm gonna turn off party AI mode. All who can hear. This one needs to be kissed. I'm gonna have everybody attack the same yes? org lash to get it down. Yes. HP wise. Yes. Worthless wretch. Your days are at an end. You are now turned to stone, old lady. Where's Kaylin at? I mean, you should be over here attacking this thing. Nice. Alright, let's go to the crossbow of murder. And we're gonna equip flame bolts. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to bring you back and not do any more. Same with you. To the abyss with you. Well, where's the one that's badly wounded there? You're dead? No. Alright, I guess we'll have one of minions back in. We don't want it to be buried too much. There it is. Alright, Jenic. Devour spirit, do you? You can attack that one and it seems and we have unpleasant this one. And we get another brilliant spirit. Very, very good. It's dead. But now we have to wait another five minutes. So how are we gonna stop these things from attacking us in the meantime? Maybe we can charm them somehow. Danger approaches. Be on your guard. Mass hold monster. How long is this gonna last? Six seconds per level. So we have 25, so 25 times 6, what's that about? Is, would that be over 10 minutes? I don't know. Let me get out my quick calculator. I can't do the math in my head right now for some reason. 25 times 6 would be 150 seconds. No, that is definitely not 10 minutes. That would be about, well, about two and a half minutes. And it's better than nothing. Let's cast it. Right there. In ex calort, 
Oh my goodness, they're immune to paralysis. Alright, let's cast one of these Bigby's hands on it. This is going to do damage on it, isn't it? 1d8 plus 11 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay, let's cast it. Okay, there's one. Let's have Janet cast it on this one. And then we'll pull Gan away. Let's pull you away too. Oh, they're still moving though. Press the attack, quickly! And I thought they would be grappled. All right, well, I'll come back in about five minutes when I'm ready to devour another one of them. I don't think we should take too much damage in the meantime. Okay, we're going to devour another one of these orb lashes. We'll get another brilliant spirit essence out of it. Now we got to wait another five minutes before we get this one. And I'm, I'm having it attack Gan. Gan can't do any damage to it, so it's keeping it occupied for right now. I'll just meet you back here when we're ready. Okay, five minutes is over. Time to get another Brilliant Spirit Essence. Another 52 XP. Man, that was a long wait. Okay, so while we wait for... Oh, oh, looks like our timer's not here. Well, that's interesting. Yes. Let's see if it's true or not. Let's have you attack boar. Oh, looks like you did a little bit too much damage to the boar, so we're going to bring you back here. It's badly wounded. How much damage can you do to it? Not much. Which is good. Okay. Come back. Let's see if there was a bug happening. Let's try to devour its soul. Ah, we got another brilliant spirit essence. We didn't have to wait so long. Got 186 XP from that. There's a table here. Let's go check it out. Yes. First, let's grab this. Jar of condensed ore glass essences. We could have used this to fight the shape of fire, but no need. Okay. What's up with this table? We have the scrolls of polar ray. Burst of Glacial Wrath and Cone of Cold. How appropriate for this place. I will lead now. Follow. Alright, we grabbed them all. I think that's it for here. Nothing else is hidden, right? No hidden doors, no secret passages. Okay. Well, let's make our way back to the Othors and tell them that we took care of their little hag problem and we'll take the experience point bonus. Yes. Oops. Nope. Go this way. Well, it looks like all the ice has melted since the boar's dead. I guess that would be a volcanic vent over there. Alright, let's make our way this way. We have 100 spirit energy. That's very good. I like it. Alright. Now I wonder if we can provoke these spirits and then we can attack them. Do you linger here with a purpose? Well, I do have news of the Boer. Indeed, what of her? She wanted me to give you a special message and devour spirit. I tracked her into a mine and killed her. And we went one point towards Lawful. See, I told you, Imsha. You should have checked the Vormiani mines. You made your point, Tamlith. As for you, Spirit Eater, it's good to know that you are not entirely above serving causes besides your hunger. And thanks, and in hopes that you continue that path, we offer this cloak. 
So we get some type of cloak at 700 XP. What's of Remyani? When they are still young, Rashemi, who show magical promise, are taken from their homes. Too young, I still say. The women may become Hathrins, as Tamlith and I once did. The men, by the same token, can become of Remyani. Their, their service to Rashomon frequently entails the forging of our magical arsenal, and many of them inhabit mines here along the running rocks. Okay, I have other questions for you. I guess we can't uh, devour your spirits now, can we? What do you want? Yeah, I think we already asked all of these. Are you going to attack me? We're not fools. You can play host to a power that no spirit can hope to best. Yeah, that is true. Oh yeah, we forgot to turn on party AI mode. Our strength is in our influence. Far more than in our magic, we would not fight you. Do not mistake Imsha's words. In our way, we will see that Rash that Rashomon outlasts your brief appearance here, as we have in the past. Oh, we can do the Devour Spirit. I wonder if that'll work. Well, we'll try it in another episode, I guess. Farewell. Okay, so I guess we'll, we'll save here. Let's turn on Party AI mode. And we get the cloak called the Forest Queen's Blessing. Proves Charisma, proves saves versus d disease, and all saves, and you can use Bark Skin. So who needs a cloak? You? Yeah, probably. Even though we wouldn't get any Charisma bonus out of it. We get the uses of bark skin. That's fine. You have need of me? Okay. So we've done all that we can here. We've defeated all the enemies. We've got another mask fragment. We have, we uh got some cloak from these witches. And most importantly, we have our potion that we're gonna take to Gnarlthorn and ho hopefully poison him even more get him to attack us, so that we can maybe collect his essence, even though in the unmodified game, you can't even get his essence for some reason. You have to use the console. Hopefully it'll be different this time. So anyways, this is Big Low signing off. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time in Tango India.